is coming to Anaheim. Well, speaking of signing up day one, speaking of day ones in general here, it is going to be Lumbre and Terra Bear coming up next on stream. That's true. Okay, Lumbre and Terra Bear. So we are, in fact, going to Loser's Quarters. Uh, so we should be having Banjo versus Ness. And now Lumbre, just like we were talking about Marvelous Marco, Lumbre is also somebody who at the start of Smash Ultimate really started to put his grind in. I believe he was from the IE. Yes, so Lumbre, he was our, he, I, a little bit of background history for Lumbre for those of you guys wondering. He told me he was a two-tour, you know, if you're average Joe, you would see at a local. Never went too far. Met up with Razo, a great, great player from the IE, and from there was trained by him in, in from there on. And from then on, Lumbre started to become a tour de force, going from one of the most legendary SoCal unranked players to becoming an actual SoCal ranked player in general. Lumbre has definitely been one of those players that has put in a tremendous amount of work to definitely be up there with some of the best nest mains out there, like Gact, Foe, you know, best nest to name a few. Okay, so this is actually a pretty exciting match to have then. It's like almost like we have a battle of the old school versus the new school. Yeah, and I feel like that's what 2020 is about. A return to form from a lot of the older players. And 2019 was the rise of the you know the young kids, right? We saw Goblin becoming one of the one of the great Roy's out there, and we saw a lot of new players just come in and take. You know, we saw Zachary mm -hmm. coming out and becoming oh, you know. Yeah, PGR. talk about new blood, Zachary. Yeah, a lot of new blood in 2019. 2020 though, it's the return of the old guard here, and I know Terror Bear making sure that he lets Moonbury know I have been here longer before you have. That's right, and then you can see like great making great use of this Wonder Wings from Terror Bear. Kind of give you a better idea of what we were seeing when he went against Dakpo. Yeah. Uh, because you can see, like, even with the short hops, like, the short hop uh, Wonder Wings, he's doing it so that he actually goes over the PK fires. Mm -hmm. Well, he kind of caught <laughs> Terra Bear going over a lot of things, but in the end, he's able to clip him with forward air. Terra Bear losing the stock. Lumbre holding the shield, making sure it gets that down throw forward air, but Terra Bear able to escape. Hey, we see another Wonder Wing coming from Terra Bear. I mean, that's just a great option, especially if you're like trying to bait out the uh, the side magnet from Lumbre. Now, for those who don't know, the side magnet, the little force field that Ness will put around him, can actually absorb explosions. So whenever we see that grenade come out from Terra Bear, uh, Lumbre is going to want to absorb it and actually regain some health from it. Yeah, and it also allows to give Ness an extra bit of a. Uh Technology we like to call as a side stall. He's able to stall his momentum a little bit using the side magnet. Yeah, Terra Bear making great use of his Wonder Wings. <laughs> uh, he expends that resource very quickly. The one thing I'm liking here about Loom Break too is because he's going for side magnet a lot and side stalls, like so, this is poison to let Terra Bear know I cannot go for these eggs and these grenades for free. And this is letting Loom Break also fight as such because he knows, you know what, I can bring out this close range combat as much as possible. Nice, I like the backer out of the shield, even a neutral out of the shield. He's not going to let Terra Bear come up in his zone for a free. That's true, okay, good parry. Oh, did you see that parry animation? Oh, I love the Yo, flex. Flex man. on him! <laughs> Almost got the down smash. I actually, the down smash did trade, but unfortunately for Lumbre, Terra Bear had put out a grenade, and he just, it stopped the, the animation of the up smash. So we actually saw oh. the first hit of up smash hit Terra Bear, but then it just knocked uh, Lumbre out of the up smash. But he, in fact, you know, picks up the next up smash, and that's going to clean up a stock. And that was good for Lumbre to actually understand. You know what, when we saw new characters, characters actually being reworked a little bit in Ultimate, we thought Ness had received a nerf because of the change of the up air. But now the up air, you know what, it has range, man. And Lumbre is able to use it at the ledge, and it kind of bought him the situation he's in now. Mm -hmm. PK Thunder to kind of get Terra. I like the opportunity here. He knows if I can't hit him before he grabs the ledge, I got to hit myself to get out of the situation. 71% on Terra Bear. Lumbre is saying, you know what? Hey there, old man. You've been out of the game for a little while, man. It's time you sit down and let the kids play. Yeah, you can see the side magnet coming in clutch for Lumbre. Whatever damage that Terra Bear did was just nullified as he went back to zero. But okay, but get landing a couple of up airs. Oh, yep, speaking of landing a couple of up airs. Yeah, Lumbre landing an up air of his own to clutch out game one. Lumbre, yep. I mean, I'm not surprised to see how this result is going to definitely go between Lumbre and Terra Bear. I, I think it's going to be like a possible game five situation. Just the way that Terra Bear is able to also adjust himself between mm -hmm. him, himself and his opponents. But I know that Lumbre's master plan is shut down Terra Bear's comfort zone. Right, get rid of what he likes to do. 
like you said, right, you can now absorb explosions with Psych Magnet, and once Lumbre keeps that in play in mind, he knows he's getting rid of a lot from Terror Bear. That's right. Now, one thing I'm noticing from Lumbre, now, if you're, if you're a fan of Lumbre, if you've seen him previously at our local stream or a different stream, uh, you would notice that he is he likes to use the platforms and do the angled PK fires oh, so from those up. platforms. Yeah. But he, we haven't been seeing that too often here in game one, and I think we just saw it one time. Yeah, and Limber told me it's very situational. It forces, it, it's a, between a specific distance in which Ness can be out of platform and on the air that'll force the PK fire in the air to go shoot out straight. Mm -hmm. um, but it depends on certain stages. I know Lumbre is a master of doing that in Town and City, but because we are gentlemaning a lot here on PS2, this allows Lumbre to just go ahead and make different plays that he should be going for instead. Okay. I wonder what it has to do with the uh, the stage presence that, that Terror Bear has been having to and the positions that he's typically been going into. Typically, we've been seeing Terror Bear hide underneath the platforms, which would uh, nullify any aerial approaches from Lumbre. If he's like trying to fall oh. in with Nair or forward air. Yeah. Or up air. 101 to 94. You mentioned how that Psy magnet, right? It's going to be one of the Roomba's master plays back throw. That'll take the stuff. No, not nope, yet. No, no. Nope. Remember, Banjo's got some weight to him. Yeah, that's a heavy bear, man. Yeah, I don't, I don't know what you're talking about. Kazooie. Kazooie's not light. <laughs> I know that bird, that bird looking mighty big. All right, well, gets the neutral air indeed. Up smash punishes him for going for the miss grab. Yeah, that's so unfortunate because you know Terror Bear had the. He had his conversion down. He, he got the drag down there. But just unfortunate for him, uh, Lumbre landed on the other side. It actually, you know, made him forfeit the stock. But regardless, oh run no. up, up smash, and Lumbre runs into it. That was such a misplay from Lumbre. I like the attempt here. He knows I wanted to come out of the ledge right into Terra Bear to fight him for one a mano a mano. But unfortunately, the up smash does have a hitbox, which will scoop you up to the main hit and take care of your stocks. Great use of Wondering, getting the horizontal recovery and just escaping the PK Thunder. Get me away from that projectile. Yeah. That thing's crazy. Okay, drag down back air into an F tilt, but up smash from Lumbre is gonna connect. And now Terra Bear finds himself off stage once again. Once again, Lumbre, he knows, I gotta shut down Terra Bear's comfort zone. Getting a little bit of that heal from that grenade is going to be poison to take a lot of things and put Terra Bear a little bit of food behind. Mm -hmm. Now just continue to get the juggle on Lumbre. Oh, okay, I see you, Lumbre, getting the one-two, forcing Terra Bear into a position, but uh, unfortunately that PK Thunder is not going to be enough uh, to keep up with Terra Bear. Oh, good forward air. And I like the fact that Terra Bear is spacing himself for the punish, has the grenade in play. He's letting Lumbre fight everything now. Are we going to do the platform? Okay. Now nice. one tool, Okay. One tool that uh, Terra Bear has access to, I don't think we've seen it just yet, is that if Lumbre is, in fact, recovering low, is that he can do the, the Sonic Spring tech where you just throw your, your platform at mm -hmm. Ness, and if they hit it, it'll actually stop the momentum. Yeah. Reduce it by a great amount. So we haven't seen it yet. Maybe Terra Bear is hanging on to that, but I'm pretty sure that's common knowledge, and Lumbre is looking for it. Oh, 60% is what Lumbre has definitely found in this kind of situation here. I like, I like that backs a little bit off. Lumbre not afraid to play a little bit of the neutral game. Get the footsies going, making sure he moves in and out of Terra Bear. Woohoo, the Kazooie egg into up air. No actual birds were sacrificed in the making of this game, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Holds the grenade for the heal. Yeah, like so the, close. The projectile mix up from Terra Bear is crazy. Like, he continues to bring out. Ooh, what is he doing? <laughs> he is winding up for something. And I know Lumbre is not going to go for a roll. And he understands. Fine. You want to sit there at that position where you space me out? Take a PK Thunder. Okay, now Lumbre is setting up again. But unfortunately, Lumbre ate a, he ate a grenade yep. instead of a. Instead of a forward air. I like the small charge there from the down smash. Oh no, but unfortunately, Lumbre is a man of the skies and he will die for that one on the Wonder Wing. That's just a resource you have to pay attention. You have to know how many Wonder Wings are left. That was the last Wonder Wing that he had access to. Yeah. If Lumbre had blocked that Wonder Wing, it, it would have put Terra Bear in an even worse situation than he was already in. But I felt Terra Bear was so sure of himself at the situation here because he knows Lumbre is jumping. He knows, he sees it, he sees the side magnet. He's going to heal a lot of times from side magnet. So if Terra Bear can force Lumbre to start doing that in the air and catch him with the Wonder Wing, it was Terra Bear's game to take and he saw it so. That's true. Now, one thing I, was, I mentioned uh, in game two, 
but there was just so many si hype things going on. I, I, I couldn't finish it. But regardless, um, the mix-up of projectiles that we see coming from Terror Bear, like you'll see that he mixes up the 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 eggs versus the grenade, and Ness can't absorb the eggs. Yeah, he can't. He can't. So if you know if he bait if Terror Bear baits out a side magnet because the grenade has a presence, then he's able to pressure Lumbre with the eggs. And it's just like, okay, you have one, I have two projectiles, one you can absorb, one you can't, but both are gonna be great tools in my in my kit. Speaking of having great tools in your kit, I love the fact that Lumbre is never afraid to use PK Thunder to ensure that he comes back on the stage. Mm -hmm. Okay, good oh, dash no. defense into the Wonder Wing. And even with the great DI from Lumbre was not enough to keep that stock in the game, which is actually really unfortunate because he, uh, Lumbre was able to get a grab and a back throw onto Terror Bear, but without access to Rage, it's not going to kill from center stage. Nice. Good slice ball and putting up the back air. 131 here. Lumbre now poised to take the stock with all two down smash attempts. Nothing found, but the back throw will be the case here. Yeah, and unfortunate rapid jab in the opposite direction. Terror Bear uh, didn't even try to stop. He was just like, yeah, all right, the stock's done. <laughs> Okay, more pressure at the platform, and okay, forward air from Lumbre is actually going to stuff out the Wonder Wing from Terror Bear. I don't know if it actually took the resource, though. I saw the startup, but okay, no, it yeah, didn't. Yeah, yeah. Good punish, nice, and the reason why he held the smash attack is I think that Lumbre is now catching onto the fact that Terror Bear is really keen on spot dodging, so he wanted to punish him accordingly for it. Speaking of spot dodge, Terror Bear was trying to get the read on Lumbre spot dodge. He did, in fact, see oh. the spot dodge. He just didn't release the S smash at the correct moment. Now, that's a lot of shield pressure onto Lumbre. But luckily for Lumbre, the uh, shields recover health very quickly in this game. Yeah. <laughs> Look at that. It was already full. Good parry. I feel like in the situation where we saw last game and a little bit earlier in this game was Lumbre was going for a lot of parry attempts to punish Terror Bear accordingly. So uh, get rid of those things that Terror Bear feels comfortable. But because he was going for it, he lost stock. And once again, fresh off the bat, I felt that Lumbre, he had the right play in mind. Spaced himself up for Terror Bear, but no punish, and he got hit for it. Yeah, not only did he get hit for it, he got hit with a Wonder Wing. <laughs> okay, good track. Good, uh, good forward air chain. Nice. Wait for it. Can you get the punish? No dash attack, though. I know Lumbre is a little bit accustomed to seeing Banjo. He's probably a little bit more than so than Dagpo would have been, simply because he's used to actually fighting um, Red Fox from the Inland Empire. Mm, okay, so he has he has uh, Banjo experience. Yeah, and I kind of want to say even Dagpo might actually have some experience from his time in Texas. I didn't remember Trella actually used Banjo in Kazooie for a little while. Mm, that's right. But he, uh, of course, Dagpo now resides in Vegas. Okay, grabbing the grenade. Adding on a, another up air. We have another very close game. Okay, or yep, roll around. Oh, close enough, man. That was close. The okay, up smash is going to connect. Directional air dodge to the platform. Oh, very smart grenade. But the back air from across stage is enough to take the stock. What? I felt that the way that Terror Bear did not anticipate the back air kind of for, uh, hold him, had him hold the wrong DI, but also. I don't know if we saw him go for a directional air dodge or what he did because, of course, if, you, if those of you guys wondering at home, there are certain moves that cause your hurt box to be shifted to the blast zone a little bit closer and a little bit farther away. So it all depends on what you do. Okay. Definitely, I, I challenge a lot of you players and viewers back at home, make sure you find a move that moves your hurt box away from the blast zone. I know Corrin's back air was one of the moves back in the, for Wii U, but things have changed in this game for all characters in general. That's so, right. And we are, in fact, on that road to game five, which you had predicted for this set. Yep. Too high. I mean, Lumbre, I talked about earlier, right? The old guard has returned. We're seeing Larry, a tour de force. I know you guys are definitely watching on that multi Twitch. You're seeing Boyd right back in full form. Okay, but yes, using the, uh, the recovery to get back to ledge. Oh, very smart side magnet. Gonna absorb the, uh, the grenade. Yeah, just regain a little bit of that HP. Nice, hold the shield. Looking for the punish out of it. Okay, Wonder Wing to make it back center stage. That's the position that Terror Bear is going to want to be at. Force Lumbre off stage and start tr uh, trying to trap with the Wonder Wing and the grenades. Back throw. Oh, even tacking on a little bit of extra damage with the explosion from the grenade. Okay, so Wonder Wing getting stuffed out by forward air once again. 
Oh, so Terry Bear actually tried to fast fall back to the ledge just so that uh, while Umbre was in fact recovering HP, he would be able to punish, but just getting there a little bit too late. Oh no, Umbre unfortunately didn't caught there. No tech on the platform. I mean, I don't think he was ready to tech. I wasn't ready to tech. The the egg just popped Lumbre up at the perfect height to just land oh. on the platform. Speaking of the perfect height there, that was the perfect distance enough for that yo-yo to actually clip out the banjo. Okay, Nair out of shield is going to put Terror Bear off stage again. We see more up smash at, at the ledge. What's Lumbre going for? Okay, he dropped down and tried to punish the re-grab with the down air. Unfortunately for him, he put uh, Terror Bear off the side of the stage. He's getting the wrong hitbox of it. Okay, grenade in hand. Get rid of that. Get it out of here. I'm supposed to go for a Z-drop or just throw it down right back at Terror Bear. But nonetheless, he kind of catches Terror Bear once again going for spot dodges. I feel like that's what Lumbre has kind of cut off to Terror Bear, his habits. He knows Terror Bear loves that spot dodge for a really good reason. And if he makes him feel uncomfortable for going for it, it's going to pay a lot of dividends. Gets the back air right from the up air. Okay, just look at that. Look at the damage that just has risen on Lumbre as Terror Bear continues to trap him. And oh, there's, there's that platform drop. Yes, Lumbre tried to recover low and just put a projectile in his way, forcing him to hit it and stopping the momentum from Lumbre, not able to make it backstage. Yeah, that jump pad is not going to give Lumbre any favors. He's making a lot of the plays here. Okay, forward air and tried to punish, or tried to convert into a Wonder Wing. Terror Bear making great use, and, that, and because he is up a stock, you know, these are just extra Wonder Wings that he has at his disposal. Yeah. If he uses all his Wonder Wings in one, in one go, it doesn't matter, because he's going to have another five pretty soon. Things are slowly changing here. When it oh, watch oh, yourself, wow. He Terra knew where Lumbre's comfort was, and he took it away. You know what? I bet Lumbre was just trying to stall out at a far distance, waiting for Terra Bear to throw out another platform yeah. for him to avoid. But in fact, Terra Bear with that read saying, you know what? I know what you're thinking, Lumbre. Yeah. He went for that side special immediately the second he saw that PK Thunder. Well, game five here between Terra Bear and Lumbre. Last chance here for one to go on to loser semis. It's not even, this is not even one for, for grands. This is a battle for semis. That's true. This is just for, uh, for fifth place, I think. Yeah. Okay, drag down forward air and the Wonder Wing able to eat up the PK Thunder from Lumbre. Nice, finds an opportunity to come in with PK Fire. Now I think about it like this stage, access to this stage is going to be very good for Lumbre because I had mentioned earlier about using the diagonal, those angles uh, from the PK Fires. And you can see it coming in here. Whenever Terror Bear is like trying to position himself at the ledge, Lumbre is going to stand at the platform and just chuck flames at Terror Bear. Yeah. And he knows those those flames, those PK fire, it holds Terror in place, does damage, and buys Lumbre an opportunity to get in. It also stops the grenade as well. It causes the explosion. That's true. Okay. Oops. Sniping him out with the right. Okay. okay. He, was, he was close. He was close. Yeah, he was, in fact, close. But Lumbre able to just weave around the platform and make it safely back to the ledge. Ooh, okay. Forward air. Forward air falling out. Oh, no. He doesn't get the actual hit where he can actually get Terror in the middle of the recovery. Holds the shield there. He saw the grenade. Mm -hmm. Okay, yeah, but that down smash is not going to be in the correct position to actually uh, pressure Terror Bear at the ledge. Ooh, okay. More grenades. Are we going to see some Kazooie combos? Yeah, I think that's... I've had a chance to play for a little bit with Terror Bear, and he knows where he can confirm egg into things like up air and right putting him in the back air. Lumbre a little bit more in the back one here on game five. He hasn't taken the stock yet. Yeah, the adjustment that Terror Bear has made. And he's really been pushing the limit about where uh, forcing Lumbre to recover in like really sticky situations. But that drop down back air is gonna send uh, Terror Bear all the way across stage. No, he didn't get the absorption. He did not get the absorption. That grenade still coming in clutch, but yeah. so will that up smash. Speaking of coming in clutch, man, this is gonna be an opportunity where we have to see Lumbre put in a lot of clutch work because he's at 107 of two stocks each piece. Okay, just drop, seems like the double, 
the double egg hit onto Lumbre and Terror Bear immediately dropping below the platform. That's scary to me because he's cooking Ooh. something up. Yeah, he is. Lumbre able to recover though, but unfortunately that will be a tough trade and Terror Bear will cash it into the bank, giving him the stock lead. You know what the tech was there? Do you know what the tech was there? He just took the hit. Yeah, he, he did. was like, you know what? I'm at zero percent. I can take this and like be okay. You're not gonna make it back. And then Lumbre actually may, may have been able to make it back, but he in fact, unfortunately, just opted for a uh, directional air dodge. And he couldn't go for a situation where he could have angled himself higher because once again, he talked about how that jump pad does cause problems for Ness on the recovery. Yeah, he was, he was stuck between a, a banjo and a hard place. Yep. Okay, the us are gonna roll oh, out. No. Knows to wait for three hits and then roll. Very smart. I mean, this Terror Bear just nice. really showing his veteran wings right now. Punishment after that, yep. Oh, and he barely misses it. No, Direction Air Dodge, he grabs the grenade for the explosion, but he cannot come back. I thought he was gonna go for Direction Air Dodge, it would've been the simpler play, but I don't know if he knew. I'm pretty sure Terror knows the height in which he can't execute that. Yeah, I think he knows that if he, in fact, did go for the Direction Air Dodge, he still would've been caught by the up smash, uh, so. You know, he just oh, was no. not in a winning situation right there. Yeah. Okay, with Ter Terror Bear forcing Lumbre into the sky and Lumbre recovering high. There's the PK Thunder applying a little bit of pressure onto Terror Bear. Lumbre knows those up airs not going to kill me just yet, but they do give me off a chance to not be on the stage. Up air, Lumbre fighting for this last chance situation here. 40% to 154. He gets touched and it's over like that. That's right. Ooh, our first game five of the night. Goes to Tear Bear 2 or 3 2. Yeah. 